it's Devin and welcome back to my channel. Sorry that I've been missing in action. We've been kind of busy over here. I've been in a YouTube funk. Um, I've been wanting to get out tutorials for you and I haven't had the time and I just feel like vlogs are kind of boring right now because we don't really do anything like fun and exciting. But I was like, you know what? I should just pick up the camera and talk to you guys. So homeschool has been doing really good by the way i'm going to announce the giveaway winner today um here and i'll also announce it on my instagram um at on this video i'm gonna have josh pick it randomly when he gets home yes baby sorry I had to help isla find a doll this is also why i can't vlog it's never gonna be quiet but that's okay it's okay you guys understand um homeschool has been going good um, I think I talked about this in one of my vlogs before, but we are now using um, Time for Learning online curriculum, which I really love because I feel like before I was getting overwhelmed trying to plan for every subject. So we're doing Time for Learning every morning. We call it our computer time. Cullen does language arts, math, and science. He loves the science one. We also do our read aloud, and then we do whatever extra we're doing, whether it's a learning app, if we're doing our handwriting practice, book or we have our sp space unit study that we've been doing so we add like different things to it and different work worksheets and math worksheets and stuff and i feel like it's just reinforcing what he's learning instead of me having to literally plan out everything so that's been going super well i know there's different um online curriculums i imagine they're all somewhat similar but i really like the time for learning one so far what baby it'll cool down So when Isla gets really bored, I'll fill up like a Tupperware for her of water with little bubbles and she gives her dolls baths. I'm running out of ideas, guys. Anyway, weather is super amazing here today. It's 70 degrees. I've had a couple projects that I've been working on that I think I told you guys I was trying to build a table. It did not go well. Reason being that um, when I clamped it, I think I clamped it too tight or something and the end started curving up. So I feel like if I tried to put legs on that, it would be rickety and wobbly. So I ended up buying a table. If you guys know me, I'm not a splurger. I don't really spend money on furniture that much. Um, most of, Probably 90% of our furniture is used or refurbished or thrifted or found on the side of the road and I paint it. That's, I think it's fun, like a diamond in the rough, kind of redoing things and bringing it back to life. But I found this table, it's on the site Painted Fox, I believe it's called, and it's absolutely stunning. It's like a antique kind of look. Um, people will say my, my style is farmhouse, but I don't really necessarily think it's farmhouse. It's more vintage antique, like I just love antiques, and some of that is farm style and some of it's not. Um, so this table, I guess you consider could consider farm, but it's not really rustic. It looks kind of like antique -y to me. It's beautiful. So I can't wait till it comes, but it's not coming till May. So in the meantime, I'm just using my old table with a wobbly tabletop on top that I built. But I did do this section of the homeschool room that I'm about to show you. I finally got um, this armoire out into this room. This is going to be our dining room slash school room. This used to be our old living room before an addition. And, um, yeah, so this armoire has all Josh's alcohol. Eventually he's going to be building like his bar, but, in the, and then I can put all my homeschool stuff in there. But in the meantime, at least it's organized. And then I set up their antique little tables. Let me show you. So this is what we got going on. So this is the armoire where Josh is currently putting his alcohol. Um, and eventually it'll be my homeschool stuff. But so over here we have one little desk and I just built these shelves. I went to Home Depot. I don't know if you guys know, but you can have them pre-cut up for you. I could not find shelves the size that I wanted. So I went to Home Depot, just got a piece of wood, had them cut it to the right size. And I bought these brackets on Amazon. I'll try to link them in my Amazon uh, I mean, I'll try to link them in the description box below if I can find them. But then I can just put over here his some of my favorite pretty books. We have these antique desks that um, Josh's aunt found for me. They open up. I love these. And the chairs are connected. And then over here, I have another desk. That's going to be Isla's desk with my chalkboard. So that's kind of our little homeschool setup for now. 
and eventually so don't mind my table because we were just doing homeschool stuff and paint and such things so <laughs> eventually i'm gonna keep my antique chair i think i think i might buy two new black chairs for each side and then find another like thrifted antique chair for this side my new table is gonna go here um don't mind this it's not organized again we took all the painting supplies out usually it looks pretty when it's closed and I want to get some sort of light that comes down, like a wickery, wooden kind of looking light. So I just love how it's looking. Obviously, we still need to do our trim around our window. That's been 10 years in coming, but <laughs> we're getting there. And that's it. I love it so far. This is the stain that I used for those shelves. It's the early American stain. I like it. It's just kind of a nice medium one. I actually still have to do a second coat on it. I wanted it to kind of look like a similar color as my desk and I think it will if I do a second coat on it. So this is a side note. I don't know if you guys can tell but we had these like little plastic cheap light fixtures in our kids rooms for a long time just temporary. There were like a couple bucks at Home Depot and we just weren't getting around to actually putting a real light fixture up and I was just kind of sick and tired of looking at them. So I bought this light bulb extender. So it's a tiny little light bulb socket extender and then just bought these little rattan shades from World Market. And I feel like it just makes them look finished. How cute. So if you guys have any of those cheap little um, light sockets and you want like a quick fix, this definitely will last a while. So I have a full sink of dishes that I have to get to. I'm making the kids lunch. We're doing something super simple. I'm just making plain pasta with a little butter, salt, pepper, and garlic sauce with garlic sauce, garlic powder, and a side of veggies. Um, Cullen actually isn't picky about veggies, but he's been really picky with lunch lately. He used to eat a lot of peanut butter sandwiches. Hasn't been liking those lately. He won't do yogurt, that kind of thing. So he's my pasta carb kid, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> so that's what we're making. I'm going to do the dishes and then we're probably going to head outside because it's just so stinking nice today. 70 degrees today. Spring is in the air. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. So. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson cause you Hey guys, so it's the next day, I actually forgot to finish filming yesterday Things got crazy and busy and then I didn't get, get to it or get to have Josh pick the winner so I'm gonna have him do that today right now I drove into town um, we ran out of coffee so I'm treating us today and actually getting a latte I don't know what it is but I feel like I used to like I used to like coffee and now I, and love lattes but lately I just haven't really been liking coffee even so I'm just gonna not drink it and just wait till I can get a latte um, that sounds bougie. I need to learn how to make them myself. Uh, for any of you guys that are good at making lattes at home, please let me know what you do and what you use. Um, I'm also picking up Josh's sandwich because the town that we live close to has this place that he's obsessed with and it makes the most delicious sandwiches. So when he heard I was getting coffee, of course he had to add that into it. Um, I just like to take a drive from time to time by myself without the kids just to get away, even if it's just for 20 minutes. I'm sure you guys can relate. But when I get home, I'm going to try to get him to pick the winner and then I'll announce it.
got the sandwiches, got the lattes, and now on my way home. Okay, so Josh went on the YouTube channel and chose a winner at random. Josh, who did you choose? Tiffany Guy. Guy, Guy, how do you spell it? G I P. Okay. So, Tiffany, you are the winner. Josh yes, chose she you. Is. Um, I'm going to contact you on Insta or YouTube or yeah. some way to find you, and then we will send you your prize. Thanks for following us. Through the door, I'm hit by the same old side, blinded by the lights, and I'm going through changes. But it's easier with you. I'm going through. Josh, what do I say to you when the kids are being loud and crazy and you get annoyed? What song do I sing? Welcome to my world. So, folded all the laundry, put it away. Now we're sitting down. It's really nice outside, but it's really windy. So I don't think the kids would have too much fun playing on the playset. So we are going to snuggle on the couch all together and watch a movie. But thank you guys for watching today. Congratulations to the winner. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.